Luca's laying up. Oh yeah, he's kind of sitting up, I think. So sat is bed is leaning back against the head board. Because later on we find out like he's he's pretty ill. Um and I think I'm going to interpret him collapsing as he's probably exhausted in some way. So this kind of shows that. So I'll probably put this other way around. Emily did that while Ren started up the stairs. Kind of setting like setting in motion the movement towards Luke's room. And then we can just catch it here. With Luke sat on his bed, head leaning back against the headboard. Or as Luke speaks first, probably start it with Luke's response. He looked up from his bed as Ren stepped into the doorway. Uh, of his room. That sounds funky to me. She noticed his pillows stuffed at the small of his back. Beads of sweat or sweat beading at his temples. It's unclear what their relationship is. I don't think it's actually said here. Oh, on his two sisters. So it is, it is Ren's brother. Um, so I'm just going to say Ren's here, that's what Luke calls her, is Ren, so that would make sense. Um, Luke, Emily shouted, Ren's here, asked weekly. Uh, I'm doing fine, she said, leaning against the doorpost. I just wanted to see how you were doing. You looked away. You don't need to worry about me so much. I'm fine. Luke, just tell me. Is the medicine helping? And then this, this stuff was from Luke's point of view, but we're still with Ren. So it, it didn't seem to fit, but it says, Luke didn't want to tell the truth. He felt bad enough since he was so dependent on his two sisters. It tore him apart every time he gave them bad news about his health. And then he says, The medicine hasn't changed anything. I collapsed three times this week. I may, I may be getting worse. Both Ren and Luke were silent. Luke's eyes were watering. So, it's kind of like a worrying moment sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure how Ren doesn't know this if she lives there. Um, obviously, Luke doesn't tell her, so maybe it's while she's working or whatever, but then I think Emily would tell her. Uh, tell her. I want to get over the the indication that she's kind of worried and nervous for him. Um, Luke, is the medicine helping? So how do we show this? From what, what would this look like from the outside if we saw someone thinking this? His smile 
faded, so we need to plant a smile. Uh, maybe... A weak smile across his lips. And then we can have his smile faded. So like, yeah, I think he just, he wouldn't give in so quickly if he's feeling all this stuff. So I'm going to like lengthen this out. Um, his smile faded. I'm, you know, I'm all right. I told you, and then she interrupts. Uh, and I'm going to give him a full name because she's the older sister and she's putting her foot down. So. Let's find a full name from fantasynamegenerators.com. Uh. Straightened. Lucas Cromain, you mustn't lie to me. Boom. Uh, it is. He paused. Eyes beginning to water. He looked. Uh, let's say Luke. Luke. Oh. Luke paused, eyes beginning to walk water. He looked at his head. Hung down. And tears dropped to his blankets. He said, uh, voice broken. He sobbed and I told Emily not to say anything. The medicine working. I don't think anything. Cry in earnest. I told Emily not to say anything. I told her it's the medicine working. But I don't think it's doing anything. And as he begins to cry, Bren moved toward. Uh, a pit in the stomach. Uh, Luke continued.
who fell at his bed side. Embracing him tightly. Oh no, oh no, little Luke. And seen. Well, it got me right in it. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like this is why why show don't tell is so powerful. We're not told what Lucas what Lucas thinking, and that he doesn't want her to know and things like that. We're shown, and by showing it, we also see... The, so, like, you could think of it like... If it's only said, if it's only told to us, then we it doesn't have to come out of the character. But the act of it coming out of the character means... All the emotion comes out with it. Instead of, you can't just get the facts. You can only get the facts if you get the facts and the emotion with it. So then, all the emotion comes out as well. And Luke breaks down and they have this, like, moment together and things like that. If you pay attention to that and try to rewrite things to turn telling into showing, you'll tend to end up with stuff that is more powerful and immersive to read. I am Tap and this is how I write. Thanks everyone for watching. If you look for Tap Writes on YouTube or Tap Giles Writes on Twitter, you can find me and um, get your own work with uh, live feedback or if you want to hire me as a, a freelance editor. In, Get into contact through those places as well. Yeah, cheers everyone.